Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manavak. Today is Wednesday, 33rd week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Come, Come let, let us worship before the Lord, Lord our Maker. Maker. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship before the Lord, Lord our Maker. Maker. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. O oh Lord, in your light we see light itself. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain. Your judgments like the deep. To both man and beast you give protection. O oh Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See, see how the evil doers fall, flung down they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O God, you are great and glorious. We marvel at your power. Strike up the instruments, a song to my God with trembles. Chant to the Lord with cymbals. Sing to him a new song. Exalt and acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God. O Lord, great are you and glorious. Wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and they were created. No one can resist your word. The mountains to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks like wax melt before your glance. But those who fear you, you are very merciful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Exalt in God's presence with hymns of praise. All peoples, clap your hands. 
cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, breaking over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Of inheritance, our glory is from Him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on His holy throne. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had written on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and break in its seals. But no one in heaven or earth or under the earth A reading from the book of Revelation I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven And I heard the trumpet-like voice That heard spoken to me before saying Come up here and I will show you what must happen afterwards at once, I was caught up in spirit. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one, whose appearance sparked like a jasper and carnal. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, I saw seven, twenty-four other thrones, on which twenty-four elders sat dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings and pearls of thunder. Seven flaming torches burned in front of the throne, which are seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass like crystal. In the center and around the throne there were four living creatures covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion. The second was like a calf. The third had a face like that of a man. And the fourth like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night they do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the seventy-four elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They threw down their crowns before the throne, exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things. Because of your will, they came to be and were created. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise him with the blast of trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with tremble and dance. Praise him with string and pipe. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Alleluia. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Please stand. Alleluia. you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While the people were, were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, a nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself, and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, Engage in trade with this until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had a servant scold to, to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to his servant, too, he said, You take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by he said, Take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. Sisters and brothers, dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Parahil ang karamihan sa atin ay merong tinatawag na life coach. 
Pagka sinabi nating life coach, hindi naman siya binabayaran. Chances are siya yung ating best friend, a counselor, or a spiritual director, or a friend, someone who joins us uh, in life. Ibig sabihin, parang sounding board natin kapag ka tayo ay may pinagdadaan ng medyo matindi. This life coach gives us advice. Uh, at karamihan, sinasabi nila, for you to you know, have a balanced life, you must temper or manage your expectations. Oo nga naman. Kasi kal- kalami, karamihan, iba, no? sasabihin nila, gusto ko maging top notcher sa board exam. Pero average lang naman ang kanilang intelligence, di ba? So kapag hindi sila uh, naka-top notcher, nakapasa lang, frustrated sila. So in other words, we, when we manage our expectations, we have to be real, di ba? Uh, kailangan match yung objectives natin o yung uh, gusto natin mangyari sa ating buhay, sa ating skills, sa ating pagkatao, sa mga biyayang ibinigay sa atin. You know, if we are going to situa- situate this uh, gospel, the Lord is traveling to Jerusalem. At alam natin ngayon, ang Jerusalem was the place for, for His crucifixion and death. But the disciples were expecting something different. They were expecting that the proclamation of the kingdom will happen in Jerusalem. And He will be proclaimed in glory. And they were both right and wrong. Doon siya kinrucify, but that was the way to proclaim the gospel and the kingdom of God by blood and His death. Pero yung mga disciples, akala nila, it's going to be glorious proclamation. A glorious proclamation. Indeed, the kingdom of God was at hand. Na andun na, but they will see it established by blood and not by glory. They did not expect that the coming week would end with their teacher hanging on a cross and dying there. But they could have listened, you know. Kaya lang hindi sila nakikinig sapagkat iba yung kanilang iniisip eh. Palaging kingdom of God. Siyempre, kapag may kingdom ka, ikaw ay hari, di ba? So they were about, uh, they wanted to, to be at the left or at the right hand of Jesus. Yun ang kanilang expectation and they were not able to manage their expectation. Kaya nga, disappointed sila. Ganun din tayo kung minsan, sabi ko nga sa inyo, as we follow Christ daily, we expect things to be touch and go. Parang as long as the Lord is with me, as long as I am praying, as long as I'm not doing anything bad, as long as I'm trying to be generous with others, things will work out fine. But it is not always that way. There are times when we, <clears throat> when things happen to our family, nagkakasakit yung mga anak nyo, tayo ay tumatanda, and then things that we do not expect happen. Halimbawa, yung pagkakasakit ng malumba, etc., etc. Sometimes our trust in God, even our faith, is shaken. Kagaya rin na nangyari sa mga disipulo nung panahon yun, di ba? Umalis sila, they escape, they run away because of fear. And there are spiritual writers who say and interpret the talents or the coins given to the servants as the gift of faith. In other Gospels kasi makikita natin yung iba binigyan ng lima, yung iba binigyan ng tatlo, yung iba binigyan ng isa. But here in this Gospel, isa lang, tigitig isa. And uh, most of them were able to increase those gold coins, except for one. Itinago niya sa isang panyolito yung pera ng kanyang amo. Kaya nga, sabi, to those who have been given much, much is expected. At kung ikaw ay nag-iisa lamang at ibinaon mo lamang sa lupa, imbis na ininvest mo kahit sa bangko, that too will be taken away from you. At yan ang tinatawag nating faith. That is, I think, the symbol of our faith. As we grow, as we live our lives, we really have to invest on that faith. Ginagamit natin yan, lalong-lalo na kapag tayo sinusubukan, lalong-lalo na kapag tayo ay dumadaan sa medyo matinding 
suliranin o pasanin sa buhay, di ba? Doon naman natitest ang ating faith. Kakapit ba tayo sa Panginoon? Kakapit ba tayo sa ating sarili? O tayo ba ibibitaw? Will we be discouraged? Kaya nga, tingnan natin yung mga coins na ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Ano ba yung ating ginagawa doon? Tayo ba ay grateful to begin with? Tayo ba ay nananalig at mahigpit ba ang ating kapit doon sa gold coin na ibinigay sa atin, doon sa ating pananalig sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos na tayo ay mahal niya, na hindi niya tayo papabayaan? So there is no reason for us to lose that coin or to doubt that it is going to grow as we live our lives. Naandiyan yan. Sasabihin natin, is the kingdom of God near or is the kingdom of God still far from happening? It is already within us. Every day, almost every day, we share the word of God in the Mass. We receive Him in Holy Communion and we receive and see Him in the sacraments of the Church. So naandiyan ang lahat ang ating kailangan para palaguin kung ano man ang mga ibinigay sa atin. Hindi lamang yung ating mga skills, hindi lamang yung ating mga powers, hindi lamang yung ating mga talents. Ang pinaka-importante dito ay yung ating pananalig, yung ating faith sa Panginoon na hindi tayo papabayaan. We now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. Gathered together as sons and daughters of God the Father, who is the giver of all good things, we reverently make our prayer. Father of goodness, bless us. Father of goodness, <clears throat> bless us. That the Church may not be afraid of the challenge of renewal, and may the many different gifts entrusted to her be put to fruitful use. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. That all people may share in the earth's resources, in justice, unity, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. That we may have a deeper appreciation of the importance of our ordinary lives, and that we may realize how the love of God can flow from our little acts of kindness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. The doctors, nurses, and those in the caring procedure may use their gift to bring Christ's love and compassion to the poor, the lonely, the sick, and the imprisoned. <clears throat> Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. For the prior provincial and for our brothers and ministry <coughs> at Bay Domenico and St. Mary Magdalene, let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. That the blessed dead may join the Master's eternal happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of goodness, bless us. Heavenly Father, help us to remain faithful in the small things of life so that we may be trusted with greater things when we come into your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Pinagpala na paririto sa ngala ng Panginoon o sa hana o sa hana o sa nasa kaitasan o sa hana o sa sana sa kaitaasan. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Mm -hmm. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Senyo pong lahat. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed 
are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only share the word, and my soul shall be healed. Munting paalala po sa pagtanggap natin ng communion. Ibaba po natin ang ating maskarab bago kayo humarap sa magbibigay ng communion. Bago nyo ilahad ang inyong mga kamay para tanggapin ang communion. At kapag sinabi nila na the body of Christ, sagot po kayo ng amen at isubo agad ang Holy Eucharist. Maraming salamat po. Show us your mercy, Lord. Remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, you my child, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Remember your holy covenant. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa Santa Misang ito and being one with us. Please continue to pray for us and the work entrusted to us here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. At makakaasa din po kayo na kasali ang inyong mga petisyon, ang inyong mga panalangin sa aming mga dasal 
sa tuwing kami ay nagtitipon upang mag-alay ng mga panalangin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Eucharist. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. At pagkatapos po noon ay yung blessing ng mga rosario and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness and divine will, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed. And for those who will use them, made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.